what's up y'all welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel it's your girl destiny period in today's video i'm just going to be taking y'all with me to work so it's gonna be like a day in the life working at amazon basically because a lot of people like when i looked up videos at amazon they work at like the fulfillment center and like delivery and stuff so i don't see a lot of sortation amazons and that's the one i work at now so i'm gonna try to show y'all in case you know it's peak season so it's a lot of new hires right now and i know they're hiring so if y'all want to get y'all a job for the um holidays y'all can do that or whatever the case may be this is the shirt they gave us the other day that's the thing about amazon if you work at amazon they'll give you a shirt they gonna have shirts for y'all but let me show y'all that's the shirt that they gave us probably just for um it being peak season i think that's why but yeah, I'm gonna be taking y'all to work with me today. And I'm gonna show y'all what we be doing in there. It, be, it ain't that bad, it's not that bad. When you first start, it's like, you just have to get used to it. It's fast paced, especially during peak season. It's just fast paced, like you just have to get used to it. And then you being new, it's not making it any better, but it's not that hard. Like if you really wanna work at Amazon, wanna make it a career, you wanna, but you wanna just get your money, like it's not that hard. If I can do it, anybody can do it, literally. It's not like, I mean, you do get your little exercise in though. Depending on the time, a day that you work, you get a real good exercise in. <laughs> so the time that I work is eight to 12, but right now since it's peak season, they do a, um, they flex our shifts up. So we stay until one o'clock. So it's five hour shifts. But that might seem like a little bit, but while you there, oh, it's a lot. Yo, you, you like, dang, I feel like I've been here for 10 hours. It's a lot. All right, y'all, but let me go ahead and finish getting ready so I can be ready for work. It's like seven now. So I will check back in with y'all. I probably ain't even gonna check back in. I'll probably show y'all when I'm going into work. So I hope y'all enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so here I am scanning my badge and walking through the turnstile. You do have to authorize yourself before you go through the turnstile. You can't just walk in and get your package, no. And then here you see me picking up a mask before I go into work. They do provide masks for you. They be having a whole, like, boxes of them all right y'all so i just got here i'm walking to the morning meeting it's all the way at the back of the warehouse so i got my little bag they give it give you a clear bag or whatever and then we getting the day started this is what they do um this is the smallest area where they do the little packages and yeah <laughs> I don't do it over there. Okay, so this is me wrapping the pallets all the way after they've been closed out from the lane. So where it starts at is the scanners scan the packages onto the pallet until it gets um, really high. And then um, the water spider, which is what I'm doing, wrapping the pallets all the way to the top. I'm just making sure that no boxes will fall out. And they also wrap it to the top because, you know, if it rains or something, like it, no water or nothing would damage the boxes. And 
and it does get you dizzy so a lot of people don't do this don't water spider because of that reason this other lady the other day she told me that she doesn't do it because she has vertigo and stuff so Okay, so after you close and wrap the palettes on the lane, you get a palette jack and take it to the drop zone where this will be the place you put them before they are pre-staged. And I'll show you that in a minute. This is the pre-staging area. And here is me just bringing my palette and put it in the pre-staging area. Alright y'all, so I'm on break right now. Every time I'm on break, I put hand sanitizer on. And yeah, so I'm just about to eat me a little something and go back. So after break, they had me go stage non-con. And what non-con is, is basically just boxes that couldn't fit on the palettes to be actually wrapped. If it's like boxes that are weird shaped or just too long for the palette, they're put with non-con. 10 times out of 10, nine times out of 10, I say, the boxes are always heavy. But you know your girl never struggle. Period, you see me. But yeah, this is just me staging on con. And of course your girl forgot to make an outro so here i am <laughs> but thank y'all so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed today's video just me taking y'all along with me to work i hope it was interesting a lot of people want to see stuff like that but i don't know but thank y'all so much for watching honestly if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button down below and i'll see y'all in my next video